Hello, P4 students. Welcome to our Math 4 class. And this is Miss Claire. We are now in Chapter 3. It talks about factors and multiples. In this video, you will learn Lesson 1, Understand Factors and Multiples. Are you familiar with this lesson? If not, stay tuned and understand as I will discuss to you what are factors and multiples. Come on, let's get started. I have here a picture. The picture shows a container. There are 20 cakes. How can we put this cake into boxes? Okay, the boy said that they can put them into boxes of two without leftover. So in one box, there are two cakes. Can we arrange like that? Or is there any other way to put the cakes into boxes without leftover? If you know the answer, you can share that during our class. Okay, let's start. Lesson 1 or lesson A is to understand the factors and multiples. So the learning outcome of this lesson is to understand the relationship between multiples and factors. Take a look here. Kaz and Ralph are packing some oranges and bananas into bags. If each bag has four oranges, how many bags does Kaz need for 36 oranges? Or, if each bag has three bananas, how many bags does Ralph need for 36 bananas? Do you know the answer? Can you find the number of bags that they need so they can arrange the oranges and bananas inside the bags? If you know the answer, please share that during our class. Okay, let's study first. What are factors? Okay, Ron has 12 beads. He arranges all these beads in different ways. Take a look. He arranged this beads into one group or one array. And in one array, there are 12 beads. So one times 12. He also arranged it into two arrays, but in one array, how many beads? Yes, there are six. Another way is into three arrays or three ways. And in one array, there are, yes, four beads. So an array is a group, is a group of items arranged in equal rows. Okay. So, 12 can be written as the product of its factors. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Factors, children, are the numbers that divide another number exactly without remainder or leftover. So 1 of 12 is a factor pair of 12 because the product is 12. The same as 2 and 6. It's also a factor pair of 12 because 2 times 6 is 12. And 3 and 4. 3 and 4 is also a factor of pair because 3 times 4 is equals to 12. 30 has 4 factor pairs as shown below. 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. It has 4 pairs of factors or there are 8 factors. So all numbers have factors of one and itself. Take note on this. All numbers have one and itself as a factors. So these are the factors of 30. Next. Multiples. So what are multiples? Take a look here. At a bakery, buns are put into packets of four. Easy wants to find out how many buns there are in nine packets. She counts in fours and records and records the numbers in a table. Take a look here. So this one, nine packets only. In one packet there are four bonds. So these numbers are the first multiples of four. A multiple of a number is the product of the number and another whole number. So, the first multiple of 4 is 4 because 4 times 1 is 4. The next multiple of 4 is 8, this one. And the next are 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So, these are the first 10 multiples of 4. 
So when we talk about multiples, just remember to skip counting by four. So if we are going to look what are the multiples of four, uh, please remember what are the numbers when we skip count by four. Next. So 36 is equal to 9 times 4 or 4 times 9. So 36 is a multiple of 4 and 9. Because when we divide 36 by 4, that is equal to 9. And if we divide 36 by 9, it's equal to 4. So multiple is any number that can be divided by any whole number. And the answer is a whole number without remainder. So, 4 and 9 are factors of 36. 36 is multiple for both 9 and 4. So, do the multiples of 4 stops at 36? No. It will continue on and on. You will just simply add 4 to 36, so 40. So, the next multiple from 36 is 40. Then, just simply add 4 again. 44. So, we have 44, we have 56, 80, 100, 400. All of these are multiples of 4. This number, if we divide it by 4, the answer is a whole number without remainder. So, that is what we call multiples. Now, I have here a mystery number. I have a two-digit number. I have a multiple of 3 and 4. I have a factor of 2 and 6. The sum of my digits is 3. So first, how to solve this one? We are going to find the multiple of 3 and 4 that are two-digit number. So these are the two-digit numbers that are multiples of 3, starting from 12. For number 4, we have 12 also until 24. But actually, there are still a lot of multiples of 3 and 4. Now, let's find the number that are same with 3 and 4. 12 and 24. Let's check 12 first. 12 has a factor of 2 and 6, right? Correct. 24 also has a factor of 2 and 6. Both of them fall on the same criteria. Let's find the next criteria. The sum of these digits should be 3. 1 plus 2, because 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. However, 24 is 2 plus 4, that is 6. It means 24 is not a mystery number that we are looking for. We are looking for 12. Because 12 is a two-digit number, multiples of 3 and 4 have a factor of 2 and 6. And the sum of the digits is 3. Okay, before... I have here another mystery number, 2. This is our mystery number, 2. I am a two-digit number. I am a multiple of 2 and 3. I have a factor of 6 and 9. The sum of my digit is 9. Can you find this mystery number? If you know the answer, you can share that during our class. Okay, before, that's all about lesson 1. Understanding factors and multiples. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching, children, and I hope that you learned a lot in this video. Always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and have a great day.